Hey everyone, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. So 2022 season, I think is finally beginning. <laughs> I don't think we have any snow in the I forecast. I hope not. You can see I'm in short sleeves. It's like 70 degrees today. But that being said, as many of you know, we have a 2019 based our motor home. And for 22, we're gonna like do some upgrades, you know, spruce things up a little bit. So one of the first upgrades we're gonna do is going to be in this video. Let's take you inside. So one of the things that we always talk about in here is the couch and how we wished we had gone with theater seats and a trifold because at this point now, this couch is where Jason sleeps. Jason is now taller than me and he has to sleep in fetal position. He can't even fit. So sometimes we've been breaking out the aero bed. It's really gotten bad. Again, we didn't think of this when we first bought Nelly. So the first upgrade we are going to do on Nelly for this season is going to be the furniture. So we are going to remove this jackknife sofa. We're gonna remove the opposing jackknife sofa and we're gonna take them out and replace. We're gonna put theater seats here. Yeah, I'm so excited. And we got a trifold for over here. So Jason now will be able to extend his legs and sleep in comfort. We have no idea how we're gonna do this. We're just gonna take you along and in real time and see how it goes. So the first thing we're gonna do, this is held on just by basically four screws. So it's these four screws, which is actually kind of sad that that's all that's holding this down. Two on each side. So what I'm gonna do is remove those screws. We'll take this front kickboard out. That just kind of comes off pretty easy. I think it should fit. I'm gonna measure it. We have 26 inches of clearance on the door space. So I'll measure it out. We'll see. If not, I could always remove the metal part over here from the actual armrest. You know, if it's gonna be more difficult, I could do that. I'd rather not do that, but we'll see what happens. Just so you know, at least on the driver's side, 2019 on our coach, all that's holding this couch to the slide is just these little screws. Definitely not a lag bolt. Actually, one of them is bent. I don't know how, how sufficient that is really. I mean, it hasn't moved, so. It hasn't moved. I don't know how that would hold up in a real like crash, but the seat belts are bolted in. So I guess that's a good thing. So yeah, once those are removed, the new furniture is gonna be easy to get in because it comes in pieces. This, um, well, we'll see. We're just gonna slide this out. It's, this is actually not very heavy. We we'll just have to hope it fits out the door. The other that's, thing that's I, gonna be the fun part. Yeah, the other thing I'm gonna do to probably save us a little bit of work, out a little bit, is I'm gonna remove these uh, legs the here. Leg. I don't know. I think this might fit. Well, uh, well the top part is a little yeah. bit of pain. But maybe if I open it all the way, we'll see. I mean, we'll we see did, how this we works. We did get a, a residential fridge through the we door. We did, so. yeah. All right, so we measured uh, trying to take it out kind of across 26 inches on the door. So this is 30 inches with these armrests. So kind of had to take things apart. Not as easy as we thought it would be, but easy to take apart. Legs come off. Just a couple of bolts, guys. We show them the bolts over here. This is basically all it is. It's, uh, you can do it with regular ratchet set. These arms are pretty heavy. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. well, good quality. It's good furniture, yeah. guys. We'll have it up it's for just, sale, I'm it's sure. It's just not held down too <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna remove the arms. Now you went from gunna to gunu. Going, gonu, gonu, gonu. We're gonna go and run the arms. What I wanna do actually is probably throw down- um, A little blanket. A little blanket, so we don't, so we don't tear anything. Yes. And then I think we should be able to get it out relatively easily. All right, so a little update. You have to, at least we did, we have to put it in the fold out position, right? So it's as flat as possible. And you have to take the arms off. With it closed, it was a little too wide. Now it's gonna be, we're just gonna slide it right out. It took us what, about 15 minutes uh, to get it all said and I, done? Uh, a little more 20 minutes, that. 25. <laughs> uh, anyway. Put some plastic on it because we do plan on reselling these just to protect it and uh jason's going to stand that side and show us it's this is relatively light once you take everything off, yeah, right? It's it not too yep. that big of a deal. So we're gonna take this one out. Then we're gonna bring the theater seating for tonight. We're gonna do this over a couple of days. We're doing it after work. Bring the theater seating, set that up, and show you what that looks like.
So we're just kind of putting the finishing touches on here. These are powered, uh, they have heat and among some other things. Little LED lights underneath. LED lights. Uh, there are some oh. connections. So you just have to finish off these connections. So we're gonna do that. You can see it over here. Everything is connected. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Set up. So let me connect everything and then we'll show you the finished product. All right, we're all set up with our theater seats. For now, like I said, we have the center console that's gonna be coming. I measured it out. It's, we'll still have a little bit of space, but we'll have the cup holders and whatever in there. So they're really nice. And if you look, they look so- look great, yeah. Look at these here, and then there's the stock. We'll be doing this another night, but it'll be on the same video. You really can't tell yeah, the difference. They're, they're, they're pretty, pretty damn close. close. Uh, so once you go in the MemJ, you're the one that have been kind of wanting this for a while. <laughs> Show some of the features on here. Here's Recliner. The, uh, recline. And then you have the, the neck that goes forward or back. So if we're gonna watch TV, bring the neck up a little bit if I wanna pass out, I'll, sh I'll uh, put it back more. The massage is nice. There's a USB right here, which is really cool. This is, oh, that's the neck, the massage. And then and you then have the, the LED light also. Yep. If you hit so, that, you know, so you look underneath. You underneath, yeah. And then this lights up too. We haven't quite figured this out yet, but it has something but to do. Do you tap it, yeah. yeah different colors and then you have a little power thing here so you can put like light accessories yeah. shelving all kind of different yeah. cool it's, things we have gone on so many theater seats and recliners at rv shows and i always say oh my god they're so comfortable i'm so grateful this is really really nice and comfortable but it's only half of it so right so we'll see we're gonna continue yeah the biggest part is really just so jason can sleep yeah like without being in fetal position so Day number two, and we picked another dandy. This is great. So oh, God. we didn't even bring, we couldn't bring you the moving thing on day two because literally when we stepped out of the garage to move this, it was just torrential downpours. We actually had this wrapped up in plastic, but it was fun. First of all, I ran this morning. It so wasn't my, too bad. So my back was killing me. Then it's pouring and we're like, I'm losing traction. Yeah. It was just like one of those, it was if a you, challenging. If you, had, if you had two guys, if you had two guys, it would have been, it would been easier to lift. Oh! MJ, MJ helped, but it's a heavy for her. It was only heavy because my back, right. that's what I'm saying, because I ran. So, so the good thing is the way, at least uh, this furniture, the Thomas Paine furniture, is that it's made to fit through a 26 inch door. So this is a 68 inch wide uh, trifold sofa. But if you look from here to here, it's only 24 inches. We have a 26 inch door. So we kind of flipped it on its side, brought it right in. It's, it's pretty it. easy to get in. The theater seats are super yeah. easy but to guys, get in. But guys, you will never see this RV look like this ever again. No. So enjoy it. Yeah. Because we're doing, but the theater seats are in. We're just waiting for the uh, the center console here is actually on back order. So we'll be getting that soon. So a couple of things. Obviously, whenever you do some kind of upgrade, a modification, things are not like factory spec. So it's, there's gonna be little things that don't work out. A couple little things here. So the Thomas Paine furniture doesn't come with like securing points. It actually our flex steel from the rear to the front was about 30 inches. This one's about 32 inches. So it sticks out a little bit more. Also, let me just show people so they understand. So if you look over here, this slide is a little, sh it's short, right? And you can see there's a big gap here. Also, you'll see where the footrest is, it's short. So that's one thing I'm gonna have to get. It's, it's about three and a half inches from the top, or from the bottom of the couch to the floor. The actual footrest they give are about an inch. If you look at the old flex steel stuff, you can see over here how it's custom, right? So it fits right exactly where that slide was, and then they make up the difference with the footrest. There's also securing points on the flex steel. There's no securing points on the Thomas Paine, but we're gonna make up for that. So before we show you how we're gonna mount this, it's, it's actually kind of unique. We just kind of want to talk to you how we wind up getting this furniture. So a lot of you know our good friend Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. He actually is sponsored by Lippert. So he said, Lippert has furniture. We didn't really know that. We knew that Lippert does a lot of things. We didn't know they had furniture. This, this is actually Lippert furniture. It's the Thomas Paine furniture. And you see from Thomas Paine on all different RVs. You right. I just never knew it was Yeah, Lippert. we didn't either. So that's where this came from. So, so far, like we're sitting on it. It seems really comfortable. I I'm like it because it's very firm. Yeah. As far as yeah. the cushioning, I kind of like that. Right. Obviously people know Lipper. Well, maybe they don't know. Lipper pretty much makes, if you own an RV, there's some part on yes. there that's Lippert, whether it's the Everything. window door, hydraulic levelers. I mean, they got a lot of stuff. The next thing holding tanks. We, I want to buy and want to get from them is um, they have like collapsible dog yeah. crates. I they got a ton of I didn't stuff. I didn't even know this stuff. But anyway. Kitchen plates, yeah. all, all kind of stuff. Yeah. But anyway, All right, so enough back to the how assembly we're do this. here. All right, so like we said, how are we gonna secure this? There, there's no stock mounting places 
that uh, Thomas Paine Lipper gives you on this furniture. But uh, I went on YouTube, I found a, a YouTuber that does this. I'll, I'll link their channel above the video, I stole their idea. <laughs> anyway, what they did and what I'm gonna do, four and a half inch heavy duty hinges. And obviously furniture is just metal and wood with like wrapping around it. That's pretty much all it is. So this is what I'm gonna do. I am going to use the heavy duty hinges uh, wood screws into the furniture. The lag bolts will go into the floor. I'll do it on the front, on the rear. And then if I need to do all four corners, I'll do that. I don't really think that's going to be necessary. We'll see, we'll get on it. We'll kind of jump up and down. If, if that's necessary, then we'll continue and just add some more. So like I said, just two minutes earlier, whenever you do something custom, there's always a little bit of an issue, right? A snafu. A snafu, but not a big deal. So if you look over here, remember I showed you before, we're gonna drill you know, screws into the actual wood of the furniture. Right below this is actually metal. You can see I already put one bolt in. I'm just gonna build, drill some pilot holes and then put the uh, bolts in. Once it's all said and done, I'll show you what it looks like, but it looks like it's securing up nicely. I already did it on the uh, on the rear side. I was gonna finish up this side. Guys, Jason is gonna be so happy. No more fetal position. Yeah. I'm finished up here. Look, Look at this. I mean, I can't wait. I, do that again. The, the the frame will actually give out before the secure. I'm not going to need any more. Two two hinges is enough. You, you can add six if you want. It doesn't really matter. This is what it will be look like in the bed position. And then once we clean up everything, we'll show you what's going to look like closed up, which is closed up. It's not sticking out as far as we thought it was going yeah, to be. Yeah, closed up is where it's going. We're going to lose a little bit of space. Not a big deal. Here's the bed, right? Lay so down. Lay down on remember, that. Remember, Jason was like, Jason's about my height now. Jason yeah, was yeah. like this before. That's how he used to sleep. <laughs> yeah. But now look. Now he's got plenty of space. So, so and actually, you could fit two people if, in here. Well, if you piss me off, then you come sleep yeah. you know, on the other side of this well, bed. Well, now there's a little thing. Am I doing something wrong here? Oh, what happened? Well, we have to push this up a little bit. We're going to have to stick something under here because you see how it dips oh, a little? Oh, it's dipping. But uh, okay. yeah, it's pretty nice. There you go. Look at that. And you, your feet are going to hang off a little bit. That's any trouble. Yeah, but it's not too bad. It's, yeah. it's really not too bad. So let's show you what it looks like folded up. So essentially, this will go in the back here. I gotta burn this little string. And yes, uh, we have the heat pumps going because it's cold once again. And super sure simple. <laughs> ah. Oh, fold. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Close the legs. And then this comes in. And then, bam. And then these just Velcro right like on. Like emerald. Yeah, like emerald. I don't know if there's a right and a left side. I think that one goes there. It looks better. Again, this is the Thomas Paine, if you're curious, from Lippert. Yep. Oh my God, that looks so nice. Good job, Boom. man. So let's get everything cleaned up. We got to get this couch out, but we got a bunch of errands to run and it's still pouring out. We'll close everything so you can see how it is going to be traveling down the road. Like I said, yep. we're going to lose yeah, we haven't, a little bit of space. We haven't seen this yet. Like that's how, how tight, good, how tight it's going to be with everything closed. Hopefully not too bad. Yeah, and then the last thing I want to do, I don't even know if that's, Maybe I'll just leave it the way it is. It's here, like that's a little Lights. annoying to me. And a little wood. It's like three inches, yeah. but well, maybe I will, maybe I won't, it doesn't really matter. You learn as you go along, right? So if you saw before this was moving, I had it actually with this side Backwards. up. It actually goes down, now it's it's in there good. So is a stupid mistake, but look. It's okay, you're Oh, forgiven. this is pretty awesome. Wake up. I'm so excited. Well, Jason should be excited, really. <laughs> I know. he is gonna be really And then excited. when you're done, you just flip this up down bam and then you fold it up people are going to say you're duh it's a trifold but yeah but this is guys this is exciting for us because yeah. we've had jackknife now for years yep. and this this is really exciting we are done we're going to show you the finished product we're so excited guys this looks yep. so good it's uh so it's almost a perfect match it is look, look at this yeah it does it matches perfectly so here's our trifold and then we have the theater seats there. And again, there's a lot of room on either side, but we're going to be getting center the center console. console when it comes yeah, in. Yeah, so I measured it out. Once we have the center console, I think we have 74 inch couch in here, I think. Uh, once we get the center console, it'll it'll be fine. This is yeah. 68 oh. inches, fits perfect. It does. Just so you, 68 inches wide is perfect on the 3626. We haven't closed the slides yet. So we did have a couple concerns. I, two main concerns. About this furniture. So the first one was, uh, like I said earlier, the slide being so short you can see there's a big overlap here and you also see over here the feet i, I mentioned this earlier how they're hanging i said i was going to build it up 
I looked on Amazon, it, there's only about three and a half inches. They sell adjustable uh, footrests for furniture. That's what I'm gonna get. It's like 25 bucks. I'll just put that in, adjust it at right height. That's resolved. The second big concern we had was- Have. Have, <laughs> right, we have. Whenever you have slides, right? When it's closed up, it's very tight. When it's opened up, it's very wide. And the 3626 quad slides, we had enough room to walk with the previous furniture. Just remember, we had to bring the theater seats almost all the way out to the front of the slide because you need room to recline. I think it's like four inches. Also on here, we have like another three and a half inches coming out. So there's no real way to know this. Like I measured it out. I'm like, we have enough room, but I don't know how tight it's gonna be. So let's just like, do it. Yeah, in the previous furniture, we could walk down like sh straight on no yeah. problem with a lot of room. So here we go. I'm gonna go over here. Keep your so let's do it. Crossed. Let's bring down, well, let's bring in the driver's side first. And it's raining out right now again. I know, so we have water on. That's like a no-no no for everywhere. us. Well, what I'll do we is I'll, I have a towel it. here so it doesn't drip. But once it's all said and done, I'll go out and just kind of squeegee the slide out. Make yep. sure. On the driver's side, no problem because we have a slide topper on here. On the passenger side, we have pulled back the awning because we actually left for a couple hours. I didn't want to leave the awning out. No yeah, slide topper. Yeah, the hasn't been too great today. It, it all right. Wet. And there all we right, go. So that's in. All so right. this is going to be a big here question. Here we go. All right. Let's see how much space we have. As long as we can walk we get through. crushed in there. I know. Well, no, the kitchen fans <laughs> oh, yeah, out over here. You do actually have some space yeah. there. I just want to be able to walk through. I don't need a huge amount of space. Mm, I think oh, we might God. make it. I think we might make it. All right. We're good. We can do it. So it's walk definitely through. tighter, but look. Yeah, I, it is. Yeah, you have to I, go I to the side like, a little bit. I got a little bit. like pigeon knee. Or just go to the side. Yeah, but, but it's, that's, it's yeah. doable. We'll take it because oh my gosh, the the benefits of having this set up far outweigh this, and that's the, really the only con that I see. I can't wait to go camping with this. I said now we can actually sit and watch TV. We never could really do that before because the couch that was there was really uncomfortable. So super grateful. We want to just thank Lippert for pointing us in the direction of these two, these that fit perfectly. They fit perfectly. They're super comfortable, and we'll report back after we really start using them. Yeah, thank Matt also for Matt's RV reviews for letting us know that, you know. Lippert they, has awesome they furniture. They furniture. Yeah, <laughs> it's five year warranty on this guys. They have like the, uh, I think it's polyhide vinyl. The Flex Steel is vinyl also, but it's a five year warranty against flaking and all that stuff. I don't, our, our Flex Steel, which is supposed to flake, never did because we yeah. take really good care of this stuff. So we'll put the link below to actually what we got. Again, if you have a 3626 or similar measurements. New Marbella Star. Yeah, it's no know. problem really. It was. No issue getting these things in. Really no issue getting our stuff out. Yeah. I mean, it took a little work, but it's doable. But yeah, it's not doable. a big deal, it's yeah. doable. Put it in the comments below. Have you changed out your RV furniture? If so, what have you changed it out with, right? And then to the left of us, if you wanna see some more DIY uh, videos on our playlist, we'll put that link to the left mm -hmm. of us also. For myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you, you on the road. road.